Armor Poxy High Performance Epoxy System Installation Guide. Tired of that old garage floor? Motor oil, salts, antifreeze can take its toll on a floor. You can change all of that with the Armor Power Epoxy Kit. A high performance 100% solids epoxy system with all the materials included. Best of all, you can easily apply it by yourself in hours. We'll show you how. Please take a minute to read the instructions for additional information, along with tips to make your new floor turn out perfect. The most critical step in the process is to have a clean, well-prepared surface, free of debris, oil curing compounds, sealers, and loose paints. Even new concrete must be clear to remove dirt, dust, and salts that form as concrete cures. After emptying the garage, sweep, scrape, or sand off any surface debris, such as putty, paint, oil, or dirt, so that the surface is smooth and even. You can even use a hose with a nozzle or a pressure washer to flush the entire area. Make sure you remove all the dirt and debris from the floor. Add the citric acid powder to water in a pail and mix. The mix is one pound of citric acid to two gallons of water. Wash the floor with a hose or pressure washer. While wet, spread your etching solution over the area to be coated. Use a broom and scrub the surface. You may notice some slight foaming or bubbling, which is normal. For extremely dirty floors, you may need to repeat this step and use a wire brush. Pressure wash to rinse the concrete etch off. Wait for the floor to dry overnight. Set up a mixing station for your project. You can use a tarp, garbage bag, or cardboard to protect any surface you are mixing on. Fill in any cracks by using the two-part crack filler offered by Armor Poxy. Mix the A and B together until you see an even consistency in the putty. Use a putty knife to apply the crack repair. Push the putty into the cracks and smooth out. You can apply the epoxy on immediately after, even if the cracks are still curing. Using masking tape or duct tape, mask any areas you don't want coated, such as perimeter edges around the room and beyond where the garage door comes down. Armor Poxy's Armor Power Epoxy is a two-component, two-to-one mix ratio. 100% solids epoxy coating. It requires thorough mixing of part A and part B components for the material to properly harden. Any quantity can be mixed as long as the two to one mix ratio is followed. Note, the two containers we provide have gallon metrics on the containers so you can pour out the correct amount. Begin by lightly shaking the Part A container to make sure any pigments that settle at the bottom are mixed evenly in the epoxy. Pour two parts of the contents of Part A into the bucket and mix the Part A contents with a power drill and metal mixer to make sure all the pigments are mixed evenly. Pour one part of Part B into the bucket. We recommend mixing no more than half of the contents of each A and B in a bucket and then applying to the floor. Repeat a second time to avoid pre-hardening and having to rush through the project. Mix the components together for two to three minutes, not any longer. Move the mechanical mixer up and down and along the sides of the bucket and through the contents while spinning so that you get all of the material mixed, not just the material at the bottom. When mixing A and B together, you'll notice that veins appear. These veins should be 100% gone which is another indication of complete mixing. Improperly mixed resins may not fully harden or may show color variations when applied. After the components are mixed together, you have approximately 30 minutes of working time to coat the floor at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not mix in direct sunlight and keep the coatings out of the sun to keep cooler. Use the small disposable paintbrush to cut in around the edges. Pour the epoxy small amounts on the floor and spread with a nine inch roller or squeegee. If you use the squeegee, you can push the epoxy around and then back roll the epoxy with the nine inch roller. 
Roll out the epoxy to avoid any marks or lines. You can use the spike shoes while applying the epoxy. It's important to not drag your feet while wearing the spike shoes so that you don't create scratches on the wet epoxy. You can use a left to right pattern rolling out the epoxy, working diligently and quickly to avoid premature hardening. Use the small disposable paintbrush to cut in around the edges. The epoxy kit can be installed as a solid color or with the decorative flakes included in the kit. If you use decorative flakes, coat a small area and then apply the flakes. After the epoxy has dried overnight and is dry enough to walk on, you can apply the clear top coat to the floor. The Armor Epoxy Ultra Glaze Top Coat is a top coat that provides significant durability, UV protection, and shine. Open the can and mix in the non-skid additive to make the floor non-slippery. Mix the non-skid in with the mixing stick provided in the kit or a metal mixer with power drill. You can use the can or pour into a bucket to mix the contents. Mix for a minute until the white powder is dissolved in the top coat. You can use a roller pan or carefully pour small amounts of the top coat on the floor to evenly apply the top coat. Apply a thin layer and do not use a squeegee. Wait for the floor to dry overnight. The high-performance epoxy should need 24 hours before opening the area to foot traffic and three to six days for vehicular traffic, depending on temperature. Extreme temperatures and humidity levels can impact curing times. Armor Epoxy's Armor Power Epoxy Kit is easy to maintain through periodic mopping with non-bleach household detergent solution and rinsing with clear water.